Hello everyone and welcome to a new lecture. In this video we're going to talk about the law of sines. Okay, so the law of sines is used in order to solve. So if you have a triangle like that and you are given two sides and an angle and so forth, the law of sines is used to do that. Okay, so basically the law of sine says that if we have a triangle like that, such that this is B, you can name it whatever you want, I'm going to name it B, this side right here, this is A, and this right right here, this is C, okay? And the angle that is opposite to each side is the same letter, however, with capital, okay? So the side that is opposite to A, it is capital A. So I name this angle right here capital A, okay? This angle right here is capital C, and this angle right here is capital B, okay? Suppose I have a triangle like that. Necessarily, not all the sides are equal. They don't have to be equal, okay? So if I have a triangle like that, then the law of sines says that sine of A over A small equals to sine of B over B small equals to sine of C over C small. So as you can see, if I am given this angle right here, okay, angle A, and I am given side A, okay, I'm also given this side, and I am given this side, side B, okay, and I am asked to find this angle, sine of B, okay, I can do so using this equation, I will just use this part of it, I will say sine of A over small a equals to sine of b over small b. I'm trying to find this angle b, okay? I have the length of b, I have the length of a, and I have the angle a. I'll find the sine of it and I'll find b, okay? You see how easy it is. So let me delete this. Okay, so let me give you an example using the law of sine. So example one, let's have this in front of us. Example one, okay? Suppose I have a triangle, okay? So I have a triangle, okay? I have this angle right here to be 75. I have this angle right here to be 60 degrees. This is, so if this is B, this is B capital. If this is A, this is A capital, okay? And this is C, and this is C small, okay? C small equals to 340, okay? And I give you these numbers, so for example, 340 for length. I don't say either they are in meters or in centimeters. They don't matter since all of them are in the same unit. Okay, so I'll just say 340. Okay, and I'm asking you to find me side B. Find me this side using the law of sines. Well, it is very, very easy. So I will say that. So here I have C. Okay, here I have C. Okay, the angle C and I have the length or the side that is opposite to it. It is 340. Okay, however, I don't have the angle C in order to put it into the equation. What I could do is, I could use the fact that the internal angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Okay, that means 60 plus 75, 60 plus 75, okay, plus C, this angle right here, equals to 180. So, 135 plus C, equals to 180 so all these are in degrees okay so from this we have c equaling to 180 degrees minus 135 degrees which equals to 45 degrees okay so this angle right here this is 45 degrees okay so now i can use the law of science in order to find b okay so that means sine of C over little c equals to sine of b over little b, okay? So this equals to, so from this we have sine of 45 degrees over 340 equals to sine of, okay, so b equals to 60 degrees, 60 degrees over b. Okay, so what is sine of 45 degrees? Well, it is 1 over the square root of 2 over 340 equals to 
sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2 over b. Okay, so if I multiply these, so from this, I have 340 multiplied by the square root of 3 over 2, equaling to 1 over square root of 2 times b. Okay, so this is multiplication. So from this, I have 170 multiplied by the square root of 3, okay, times the square root of 2, equaling to b, the length of b. And from this, I have the square root of 6 times 170 equaling to b. Okay, so b equals to this. Okay, this is roughly 416. Okay, so as you can see, the law of signs is very, very easy to use, okay, in order to find angles or missing sides, okay. It is sine of the angle over the length that is opposite to the angle equals to sine of the other angle over the length that is opposite to that angle, okay. What we could do, and sometimes you see it in textbooks, you have C over sine of C equaling to B over sine of B. If you flip this, you get the same thing. There is no difference, okay? So let me give you another example, example two. So example two, suppose I have a triangle, okay? Suppose I have this triangle, okay? This angle right here is 39 degrees. This length right here is 28, okay? And this side right here is 41. And I'm asking you to find me this angle, okay? So suppose this is A. This is small a. This is capital A, okay? This is capital B. And this side right here, this is B small, okay? So that means sine of 39 degrees over 28 equals to sine of a over 41 okay you see how easy it is it's very very easy to use the law of sines okay so sine of a so from this I have sine of a equaling to 41 times sine of 39 degrees over 28 okay and I have done the calculation roughly equals to 0.92 Okay, if you find the arc sine of A, roughly this is, so arc sine of A, okay, or the inverse, the inverse sine, roughly this is equal to 67.1 degrees. But I want you to be very, very careful in a case like this. In what case? In a case such that you are given two sides and the angle opposite of one of them. Okay, so here we were given A, okay, the length of A, the length of B, and we were given the angle opposite to one of them, okay? You have to be careful because sine or the arc sine of 0.92 equals to 67.1. However, the arc sine of 0.92 also equals to 112.9. Okay, these two angles, they have the same sine, which is 0.92. Okay, so this angle right here that we have, so this angle could be 67.1. Okay, it could be 112.9. Okay, both of them are valid. So in a case such that you are given two sides and the angle opposite to one of them, okay, you have three possibilities. Okay, either you have one triangle, either you have two triangles, Okay, either you have no triangle. Okay, in this case, we have two triangles such that one of them have this angle to be 67.1 and the other one has the same dimensions. It has B to equal to 28 and A equal to 41 and B equals to 39. However, A is bigger. Okay, so we can have an angle. Okay, this is 41. Okay, this is 28. Okay, however, this is, instead of being 67.1, is 112.9. Okay, and this angle is 39 degrees. Okay, all of them are degrees. Okay, so in the case such that you are given two sides and the opposite angle of one of them, you have three cases, just like I said. Either you have one triangle, either you have two triangles, two different ones, like this one and this one, 
or you have no triangle. Okay, so let me give you an example of no triangles. So if you are given, so example three, in this case that you have, that you don't know whether you have one, one triangle or two or no, it is called the ambiguous case. Okay, so in example three, suppose I give you triangle, okay, such that, okay, so we have a triangle such that B, this side equals to 133, this A equals to 66, okay, and I have this angle to be 39 degrees, okay, I give you two sides and an angle opposite to one of them. And I'm asking you to find me B, okay, so sine B over B equals to sine A over little a, okay, so sine B, that's what I'm trying to find, so sine B equals to little b times sine a over little a, okay, and this equals to, so b equals to 133 sine of 39 degrees over a equals to 66, okay, so sine of 39 degrees equals to 0 0.62, okay, so 133 times 0 0.62 over 66, okay, when you do the calculation, this will give you around 1.27 okay so sine B equals to 1.27 however we don't have sine of any angle to be 1.27 okay it has to be between 1 and minus 1 okay so as you can see we don't have a triangle with these dimensions or with these information such that one side is 133 so the B side is 133 the A side is 66 and we have an angle to be 39 and I'm asking you to find me the angle opposite to B, okay? That cannot happen, okay? So be careful. If you get a sign of something that is greater than 1 or less than minus 1, then that will not happen, okay? That does not exist, okay? So that is basically the law of signs. All you have to be careful is when you are given two sides and the angle opposite to one of them. In that case, you'll have three possibilities. Either you'll have one triangle or two or no. Okay? So with this, we come to the end of this lecture.